Thank you, Mr. President. Azerbaijan thanks the Special Rapporteur on the Right to Education for her report and welcomes the examination of the right to education in the context of the role of private actors in education. We also highly welcome the interactive dialogue here today and remain committed to the full realization of the right to education. Uh, Mr. President, despite the certain progress, millions are still denied to the right to education and many forms of difficulty still affect the people and communities around the globe. Uh, in our view, to achieve the goal four of SDGs, international communities should pay particular attention not only to the report's recommendation of the Abidjan guideline principle, but also to address the primary root causes of this problem. Armed conflicts are one of those keys, uh, key causes that create obstacles to the right to education. And in this matter, Azerbaijan is one of those countries that is population, specifically more than one million refugees and IDPs, 25% of which were children, suffer from the violation of their basic rights to, uh, due to military occupation. Uh, therefore, in the last two decades, Azerbaijan has put forward the uh, education sector among the top priorities for its development. Therefore, our, our main worry is the fact that the many children are currently without access to any form of education due to long-lasting, unresolved military conflicts around the globe, and this creates an easy prediction for our future dangerous path to illiteracy and human resource deficiency. Uh, Mrs. Special Rapporteur, uh, for that reason, we would like to ask a simple question how a country could implement a full-scale Abidjan guideline principle when its territories are under occupation, and what are the most effective ways for a country to prioritize the right to education under such circumstances? Thank you very much.